Sinawa 72 is brought to you by Build It. Together, we make home building simple. Together. It's the same old thing. Day after day. Looking for change. In my life, I call the same. Greetings South Africa, my name is Tapelo Mukwena and you are watching Sinawe 72, the newest renovation reality show where four teams from across Mzansi will compete for 72 hours non-stop for your vote and the chance to walk away with the grand prize of 250,000 rands worth of building material and products from Build It. Now, we've met all the four teams. Team Rodapan from Kimberley in the Northern Cape, Team Bella Bella from Bella Bella in Limpopo, Team Guanabuche from Utenaig in the Eastern Cape, and lastly, Team Eskawini from the city of Umklatuza in KwaZulu Natal. For the next 11 weeks, we will witness these four teams go head to head as their 72 hours of construction unfolds. Who will rise to the challenge? Who will maintain the pace? Who will you choose as the ultimate winner? Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let the games begin. Yes! Let's do this! <laughs> the team just started now, and I'm very confident. I know my team will do this, and they show me they are ready. Come on, First half an hour is fast. I like it. Owens is moving here. I can see the pace that my guys working at, and I don't think uh, anybody else could do it that fast. Ah, so it's Mr. Lula. So when we come to the car, we come to see Mr. So what's the plan now for the next three hours? We're first going to clear everything inside the house and then we're just going to remove the fence and everything and then we can start with doing all the job inside. Everyone is working as a team. We all together, two by two, just me giving a hand to them. supposed to move it out the cupboard. As I said, remove everything in the house that you can. The reason why it's got broken is because we try trying to be fast, cutting down the hours. Still like a little bit stressed that we can't make it with our shadow. They've started to clear up the house, empty it up. As soon as they're done with it, they will start to fill up holes in the walls, put up the ceiling in the kitchen, and the ceiling in the dining room and also start with the painting. Let's quickly just have a look at your schedule. So we are up to the next hour now. Next one would be to send down the window panes. Every individual has got a particular task. Yes, there we go. I'm very happy with the plan. We're doing the ceiling now. Seventy-two hours is a long, but I know. I prepare them for the seventy-two hours. They have to do it. I am pushing up now, but I will still pushing. Go, I'm still going to do that. I believe in them, and they will be living in me. My team are very strong, 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 strong. They have a lot of energy, no problem.
You use, use to uh, use hammer. We're gonna demolish this shack house, and we're gonna build them a bedroom and a bathroom. The first day is going very well. The guys are actually quicker than I thought. We've removed most of the things inside the house. We're removing the doors. I think we're all going to do with our shadow today. I worked out a sleeping schedule. So each team member is going to sleep three hours from 12 what? o'clock. Yes. I think we all have to have a mindset that we need to do this. So we need to have the heart of winners. You know what I'm saying? Now Vunda is complaining that he's standing there, he needs his uh, cement, his cement. <laughs> it's drama for some teams at the start, with broken crockery for Eskawini and a falling cupboard for Wanabuhle. While Team Rodapan and Team Bella Bella ease their way into a good rhythm up front. With all of them underway, in their own way, the first team challenge awaits. We'll see that straight after this. Because we read plans, we make home building simple. For your chance to win a 5,000 Rand builded voucher, answer this question. What size is the slab in the team challenge? Is it A, 2x2, B, 1x1, or C, 5x5? SMS answers to 33913. Because we offer finance, we make home building simple. Welcome back, you're watching Sinawe 72. Now all four teams are up and running, but it's still early days with 99% of the work still to be done. He said, The time has come for the first team challenge. Let's see how it goes. Uh, team, guys, come quickly. All right, guys. Uh... Your first challenge is to throw a slab, one meter by one meter concrete. Right here in your garden. You have two hours to complete the challenge. If successful, you will be rewarded with a 2,000 rand builded gift voucher. So you guys, you must decide who is going to do this challenge. Just time start now. Let's move. Choosing the right person for a task is very, very important. Prepping for a task is very important. How to measure a concrete slab, one meter. When you go one meter, still on the dirt. I think the slab will be finished within an hour. Are you ready to do it? Yeah, bro. Please, man, you got only two yes. hours, man. Don't worry. It's very, very easy because I know my job. In the challenge, Elias come to help me. He was very, very happy to help me. Just make sure that your square that you're going to throw it into is exactly meter by meter. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a lot of work over again, just before you cast the concrete. Because now put water in, make it wet, mix my concrete, put it in. Make it smooth. Are you done, man? I'm done. I'm done. I'm finishing. You're finishing? Just show me how I'm going to measure it, please, sir. That is one meter. It's one meter, you see? No, but I can't, I can't measure like that because you have to be properly and straight one. Because you have to use some hood and straight edge also. Freddy come to me when I'm finished that he was not very happy. It won't work like that. You have to start again. You have one and a half hour to finish this. Please. Um, as I'm a team leader, I know all the responsibilities are being held on me, so I need to make sure everything goes well. No cold. No pants. Shall it now? It's just only this length that we can't figure out exactly I'm on the We started to struggle. It's just that we wasted a lot of time just figuring one thing. I know, I trust him. He's going to make it. I'll be disappointed if we don't make it. It's going well. Bye, bye, thank you. All right, guys, we got to measure now. If it's one meter by one meter, This is 97 centimeters. No, it's not one by one. The problem is you got to take the measurement from inside on your concrete. Yes. Don't take the measurement on your timber. Timber is not part of your structure. Okay. When you're measuring to measure correct, you have to be accurate in everything you do. 
we've got one exactly one hour left to go. So we need to speed this up and get this done with. How's my challenge? My challenge today. It's so it's so it's so it's over there. It's so you finish? Yes, you finish it. Yeah. You finish the stuff. This is out. It's ten centimeters. Okay. Okay. Okay, Michael. That's yeah. Yeah. It seems as if you're done, are you? Yeah, I'm done, sir. Okay, done. now let me quickly have a check. He's done it in, in an hour and ten minutes. Okay, it's a meter here. Congratulations, Werner. You've won for the team a voucher with 2,000 rand. All right. Yes, thank you, guys. They managed to do it and everything went well. They're happy. I'm also happy to win the challenge. I'm about to about 2,000 rand for my crew. Oh, oh. Uh... Hey, Mongi, I think you can come. We completed our task. Sir. All right. Uh, with the measurements, I'm 98%. Okay, that's one meter. I suggest, guys, you just widen it a little bit, about four centimeters, and then it's going to be a meter. Okay. To be honest, um, I'm not feeling good. I'm just a little bit sad that we can't make it. We need to be sure at first. We were 100% sure we would have been um, done with that task already. I'm going well. So it must be straight and level, eh? 25 minutes now left. It's only a short time, man. Come, please, man. Let us check if this time we made it right, eh? Yeah, yeah, it is right. This is quite good, 100. Well done, thank you very much, eh? Yeah. This is your 2000 brand for sure. OK, yeah. thanks, Michael. Thank you. More fire. Yeah. More fire. Yeah. We've got 2,000. We are very happy. Very, very happy. Yes, <laughs> now, it, was, uh, it was disappointing because I had to go and check four times in order for them to get it right. So I'm going to measure the, the slab. Yes, it's fine. I was never worried. I knew I was going to finish. <laughs> Mongi, I think we're done. You guys sure this time? I, I think so, so right. Let me measure. One meter. That's, yeah. That's one meter. That's one meter. You just won yourself 2,000 rand. Oh, <laughs> no. Well done, guys. Well done. At some point, I actually thought my team wasn't going to complete it, you know, because they failed to understand what is expected of them. With all four teams rewarded for successfully completing the slab challenge, spirits are high. Long may it last, or not. I have a feeling that the 72 hours of non-stop work will find its way of sorting out the men from the boys. All the action continues after the break. Because we offer expert advice, we make home building simple. For your chance to win a 5,000 Rand builded voucher, answer this question. What size is the slab in the team challenge? Is it A, 2x2, two two, B, 1x1, one one, or C, 5x5? Five five? SMS answers to 33913. Because we deliver, we make home building simple. We're back. This is Sinawa 72, and I'm Tapelo Mugwena. With all four teams successful with their challenge and not much time passed yet, everything seems to be under control. But for how long? I'm going to paint the whole house. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. You! How can you paint without putting some I don't know. You know, uh, you can't uh, paint without of, uh, putting something on the floor. Thank you, Brasari! Put nicely. Aye. Team uh, are going well. Everything we do, we must do it together. I'm happy with 
to work with my crew as, as it is now, really I'm happy. Jacob, I know uh, since we were little boys, we used to play in the street and we used to go to school together and James also do everything together. Yeah, we grew up together, me and Jody. When we finished school, we go our separate ways because he worked other places, I work other places, but I was still looking after the family because he was not staying here. And I'm glad to be also part of this thing that has happened here by the Om nou my sien se help te het nadat my man oorlede is. Want my man was rarig vir ons alles, hy kon alles gedoen het. Hy het die plamingwerk gedoen, hy het vir my die shanty gebouw daarachter. Hy was alles vir ons hier in die huis. Maar nou wat Johnny nou ook nou hier saam met my is, hy voel baie blij dat hy hier is om saam met ons te wees en vir my te help. I'm really very, very happy with this project to come to my mother's uh, way. To me, it means a lot to be part of this and help her. We are already behind with two hours now. My first morning was uh, challenging. It was a bit difficult. Let us go, guys. Let us push. Yeah, this is bad, eh? I'm going to take you to hospital. Okay, my God. Go. Actually, they are going to have a problem. If it keeps on raining, we are going to put down the tools and we are not going to wait because it keeps it raining. We're going to do the inside job and then whenever it's sunny, we're going to come outside and do the outside job. I'm just getting a bit tired and a bit dizzy. I'm going to push and push and push until we finish up this house. We have to watch out because we are coming. We are the bulls. So we are going to take them out. Now, earlier on, we got to see our team successfully complete the concrete slab challenge, some more efficiently than others, I might add. Now, to help me and to help you at home understand how this is done properly, I've got an expert by the name of Donovan Leach, and he's going to take us through everything, and he's going to take us through the step-by-step -step process to helping us to understand how you make the concrete slab. Donovan. Hello. We're going to be doing a concrete slab for you okay. today. But before we do this today, what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about safety first. First right. of all, a bag of cement is heavy, so when you're moving it, get two people to move it, otherwise you'll damage your back. Next thing is, once you've mixed concrete, it has a relatively high pH, so safety equipment like gloves, yeah. long pants, and so on is required. And when you're mixing, masks and eye protection, you don't want to get that in your eyes. Good to know. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a, a mold or a shutter to actually hold the concrete. Concrete is liquid and tends to flow around. So we just need to basically, like a baking control tray, it. control it and yes. keep it okay. So what we've got here today is a one by one meter. Mm -hmm. Now when we're doing these one by one meters, you have to remember that you need to take the, the in, internal diameters of that. You want the internal of your shutter board. You don't include that, the outside. Yeah. Okay. It's 75 millimeters thick, which is a nice stable concrete base for us. So yes, okay. Lovely. Well, the first thing we need to do, I've already knocked up uh, half of the shutter if we want to move on and just finish it up so we can show the people at home how, how it's done. Let's do um, it. Let's do this. If you can help me with this frame here. Oh, okay, cool. Um, we're gonna put, knock these in these in now to build, complete the frame. Do you wanna give it a try? Yeah, why not? Here we go. I'm always happy to be a team player. Right. I think I nailed that. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> We just want to check the inside and make sure that the measurements are 100%. 100%. So we've got a measuring tape here. So if we take it from the inside of the frame there to this side, we're spot on. One and meter. And one meter. So that's the reason why we have the shorter one on the sides and the longer ones on the top. So remember to cut your two long ones and your two short ones so you can get one meter inside. Hmm. Perfect. Makes a lot of sense. Now we need to actually start pouring the concrete. Concrete is a mixture of a few things. It's not just cement. So what we've got here, it's uh, six buckets of stone, six buckets of sand, and two buckets of cement, which will give us a three, one, three, three ratio, which will be strong enough for this. The stone we've got, we've got a nice 19 millimeter stone. Now, depending on what makes a good concrete stone is shape is one of the things we need to look at. So a nice round shape like this stone that we have, you see in general, they're quite nice and round. That gives us a nice ball bearing type action, and that's what we want. Good to know. Next thing is right. sand. Now, sand is like stone. We need to look at its type of a shape. Yeah. So a good sand and a bad sand can make or break your concrete. You can feel the texture is nice and smooth, it rolls nicely. We can feel it and test it. 
Now the last material that we need to look at in terms of a dry material would be your cements. Yeah. When doing concrete, it's always good to pick a good quality cement. So make sure when you buy a cement, you look on the side for an SABS mark. Um, otherwise, you're not allowed to sell it. Yeah. Uh, on the back of the bags and the mixed proportions if you need any general information. We left one thing out. What? Good old fashioned. The water. wet ingredient. The wet ingredient. There we go. Perfect. Let's get the water. Okay. Now water. Water is the most vital component of, of concrete. Too much water reduces the strength of the concrete, so you want to keep your water down to a minimum. It's also what starts the hydration process. That's when the crystals grow and the concrete gets strong. Uh, the drier the concrete, the more stiff it is, the stronger it becomes. Cool. Well, now we've got all the materials and the ingredients, now we need to put them together. Yeah. So we're going to call in the team. I thought we were the team. Sh shoveling concrete uh, and talking at the same time is... Maybe we do need a team. Let's call my team in, let's mix some concrete and cast the slab. First thing we do is we lay out the concrete stone on a nice board that we don't let the water go out. Lay the stone out, flatten it nicely. We then take the sand, put the sand on top of it to mix it nice through. And lastly, you then put the, the cement on top of that. Now what you want to do is you want to mix that up, all that dry ingredients up. You want to get a nice consistent color. Um, once it's a consistent color, you know the cement, the sand and the stone is all mixed through properly. Once that's done, you then split it up. You basically take a mound and you make a little dam with it. And then we start putting water in. You put one bucket of water is great, don't put too much water in, mix that all in nicely. As you can see, once that's mixed up nicely, we then split it up again and then add a little bit of more water there afterwards. Don't add too much water, it's always easier to add water than it is to take water out, you'll never be able to do that. Once it's a nice consistency, it can hold itself up nicely. Put into the mold, which we whipped up before. Once you've dumped the concrete into the mold, you then want to work it into the corners. We use the wood float and, and we worked it in there nicely. What you're trying to do is you want to compact that concrete. The concrete's got air in it, and that air weakens the concrete. So what you want to do is you want to give it a bit of energy, either through vibration or tapping, and the air comes out. Once that's done, we then took a straight edge and use a sawing motion and a chopping motion. The sawing motion allows you to cut the excess concrete off. The chopping motion allows you to bed the uh, surface stones into the mix. Once you've cut and you've finished and you've filled all the holes, we then take a wood float and we just basically clean up all those little holes and float the slab nice and smooth. And there you have completed your concrete slab. Who would have known that casting a concrete slab could be done so simply? Just remember, if you're unsure about something, always get expert advice. Donovan Beach, thank you so much for your advice. It was my pleasure being here. From me, Tapele Mukwena, see you next week. Good building and goodbye. Next on Sinawa 72, the teams move into their next seven hours of this massive construction okay. challenge. The rain can give us Big problems. Some guys are already feeling the pressure and it's not going to get any easier. They were threatening each other. Sometimes Vera doesn't listen. Sinawa 72, Wednesdays at 5.30, only on E. Down, and down, bad boy. Sinawa 72 was brought to you by Build It. Together, we make home building simple.